we've got a little over 250 hours on the beta 35 so we're going to do some maintenance let's uh see what kind of trouble we're going to get into um we're gonna it's gonna be a little bit early since uh i have changed but we're going to do the uh primary fuel filter the ray core and we'll do the secondary on the engine so we're going to change both of those we're going to inspect the impeller raw water and see how it looks after 250 hours uh, while we're changing the primary we're gonna install this uh, Parker vacuum gauge so this will be a little vacuum gauge that's gonna go on top of the fuel filter and that will help us tell if we have any kind of obstruction or blockage in the filters or obstruction in the tank and then the other thing we need to do is we need to look at the heat exchanger uh, tube stack and see if we need to replace the zinc, which we probably need to replace the zinc. I'm guessing that it's due. So we're looking at the transmission side of the engine. Heat exchanger's up here. And there's a, uh, there's a bolt with the zinc on the end that we need to take off. And unfortunately... I think the threads hopefully are going to be the same, but looks like it's uh, larger than the spare. So I hope the spare fits. All right, <clears throat> zinc's replaced. So what did we learn about the zinc? Well, a couple of things. One, we learned that the uh, wrench size is smaller for the replacement zincs than for the original. The other thing we learned is that the zinc that was in there is gone. So it's wasted, so should look like this. It's a little pencil zinc. And this is what we have. So the zinc did its job. Now, I should have caught this earlier because this is super important because you can get corrosion inside of your heat exchanger tube stack, and that's really bad. Um, at any rate, this is replaced. And we'll go ahead and order more spares. One project down. All right, now I'm inspecting the impeller for the raw water pump. What in took this plate off? There's a half dozen screws here. You can see how this is uh, this is stamped. Sometimes if you just have a like a blank metal uh, cover here, put a mark on it so you know which way is top. Uh, I'm gonna try and orient it the same way every time. I think it's okay. We could go ahead and replace it while it's open. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. All right, here's our impeller we just removed. Let's take a look at it. Okay, uh, it doesn't look too bad. See just a little bit of rust sitting in the middle of this. Little metal insert. We, we're gonna go ahead and replace it. You see a little bit of memory in the, uh, the tines there. Impeller lubricant, so this will help the impeller once we put it in because uh, it's going to flow dry until the water opens up. So we'll put this glycerin on it. All right, the impeller's on. And we put the cover back on. Now you kind of zigzag across the cover so you don't tighten just one side. You kind of tighten all the way around it. And uh, that should be good. I've got the through hole still closed. I'm going to leave that closed for a minute. The... Uh, raw water strainer is due to be checked so we're gonna check that too here's our raw water strainer looks surprisingly good no pieces of plastic or just a little a little bit of gunk on the outside this will be easy to clean up all right we're making great progress which means i'm destined to screw something up so now we've got the uh the raycor separator first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to drain it and then we'll uh, change the filter and then we'll put the vacuum gauge on top. So I did, I did have the tank polished at one point, but it's not too bad, but I can see a little bit of black gunk here on the bottom. So we definitely want to take care of this. So one lesson learned is there's, there's a bolt in the middle of this I could have unscrewed to drain this out. Instead, I just took the bottom off, which probably wasn't my best move. 
So I'll see if I can get that together. I'm catching the diesel in this half of a jug. We'll let this drain out. Took the tea off the top. Let's take a look at this. Here is the, there's the lid with a washer and then there's the filter. All right, so this filter slash fuel water separator, what I expect to see is it'll be a little black, maybe, but it won't be clogged. That has been changed, I don't know, 50 hours ago or so. And uh, it looks perfect, it looks fine. This is super easy here. I just place this. Place that in and that one's done. Now, we need to look at our uh, at our new vacuum gauge and see how that's gonna go on. All right, I know somebody's gonna crap on this for using a, for using Teflon tape for the threads here. Um, I'm, it's in Permatex, I'm not sure where it's at exactly. All right, now we run her for a little while. Good flow coming out. Oil pressure, everything looks nominal here. One thing we check for here, make sure there aren't any air bubbles coming up. That looks pretty good. Engine sounds good. I need to change this uh, oil pad. Yeah, we're doing there. I may have to use my phone actually to take a look at that. So next time I'll. Uh, Try and orientate it a little better. Okay, that's that's dry, that's good. 